Hot lava and fumes rage over Hawaii as more fissures open up at the Kilauea volcano. Resulting volcanic fog and ashfall are posing new threats for residents of Big Island, and the U.S. Geological Survey has issued a code red in the area. But one volcanologist isn't too worried. No, what we're seeing today is typical for Kilauea volcano. What's more likely to happen is a lot of ash and a lot of steam, and that's not life-threatening, but it can be a major annoyance, and it could go on for a week or two. His main concern is that basaltic volcanoes like Kilauea and volcanic eruptions in general can contribute to significant changes in the climate. Dr. Peter Ward is a volcanologist who has worked with the United States Geological Survey for 27 years and spent a lifetime studying volcanism and its relationship to climate change. Volcanoes can typically have a cooling or warming effect on the planet. Large volcanoes emit a mixture of gases like sulfur dioxide. The SO2 combines with water in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid droplets. Besides affecting the air quality, these gases tend to have a cooling effect on the atmosphere. This is because such gases tend to obscure the sun, causing the sunlight to reflect away from the Earth. A significant dip in global temperatures was seen in the years that followed the massive Mount Pinatubo eruption in 1991. And many scientists feel the two things are linked. Some volcanoes have the opposite effect. Basaltic volcanoes, for instance, tend to throw up huge amounts of chlorofluorocarbons that, according to Dr. Ward, lead to ozone depletion and result in global warming. The warming is when the basaltic volcanoes release a large amount of chlorine and bromine. It turns out those chlorofluorocarbons, when they get up into the stratosphere, get broken down and release chlorine atoms. And one tiny atom of chlorine can destroy 100,000 molecules of ozone. So this ozone depletion is an Achilles heel of the environment. And if you upset the cycle of ozone that, that produces the ozone layer and cause depletion of that, you cause warming. He says that rapid global warming since 2014 could have been caused by the eruption of the Bartabunga volcano in central Iceland, which extruded basaltic lava from August 2014 to February 2015, covering an area of 33 square miles, the highest rate of basalt extrusion since 1783. There's no doubt that volcanism is intricately linked to the global climate. But the real question is, Will the eruptions in Hawaii produce enough ash and lava to impact it? Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.